last week, Harley and I reviewed Ultra Enviro Man. Whack to the curb. It has got to go. <laughs> so today, we're gonna take a look at Battletoads. Rocky! That it is, I mean, they got Psycho Pigs and Turbo Thwacking. How can you go wrong? Your kids are freak for Battletoads and these other games from Trade West. Nintendo Entertainment or Game Boy Systems Required. Battletoads is a beat-em-up platform video game developed by Rare, who later created Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo, and published by Trade West. It is the first installment in the Battletoads series, and was originally released on June 1, 1991 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The game was directly inspired in response to the interest around the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. It received mostly positive reviews upon release, with critics praising the graphics and variations of gameplay. However, many critics were divided over the difficulty, and I believe rightfully so. Since its release, it has been renowned as one of the most difficult video games ever created. The game has varying elements of racing, climbing, and vehicle-based obstacle courses. Players start with three lives each time the game is started which get replenished each time the player continues after getting defeated. The game contains no saving system or password feature. While the levels of Battletoads vary greatly in gameplay style, the game is presented generally as a beat-em-up, in which the player progresses by defeating enemies while avoiding hazards in the environment. The player can finish off enemies in a varied amount of ways, such as punching or kicking with an enlarged fist or boot, headbutting with huge ram horns, or, in certain levels, transforming into a wrecking ball. Side-scrolling stages are generally presented as having an isometric perspective, while platforming stages that feature vertical progression are presented non-isometrically. Several levels in the game feature sections in the form of an obstacle course, where the players must dodge a series of obstacles with speed increasing as the level progresses. Other types of levels include two tower climb levels, a descent into a chasm while hanging from a rope, a level with underwater sections, a maze chase riding a unicycle-style vehicle, a platforming snake maze, and a race level in which the players have to fall as quickly as possible through countless platforms to reach the bottom of a tower before an enemy does. Hidden throughout four levels in the game are Mega Warp Points, which, when reached, allow the players to automatically advance by two levels. Due to the extreme nature of the original NES Battletoads difficulty, almost all subsequent ports of the game went through varying measures to tone it down, in an attempt to make the game more accessible to casual players. The game's difficulty is still remembered fondly today by gamers who played the game back in the day, but also by modern gamers rediscovering the title. And as such, this game is brought up quite often today by other YouTubers and retro game enthusiasts alike but it still doesn't make the game any easier. Alright, so what is my experience with Battletoads? Well, this is a game that I actually just overlooked when it came out. I was actually probably more excited for the prospects of the Super Nintendo, which was yet to enter my house, but really it's just something that I didn't really think to look for. I actually didn't hear about this game until years later on YouTube when I started watching speedrunners. And throughout that, one of the videos that was recommended to me was this guy who had a series about video game levels that were just either terrible or it gave him a lot of trouble as a kid, and this was one that he reviewed. This actually takes me back to the early days of YouTube when people used to complain about the games they grew up with as a kid, and it really was one of the reasons that prompted me to start a channel to kind of celebrate the things I enjoyed as a kid. So that said, this is not a game that I am very particularly nostalgic for, and I do like playing, but I definitely agree with that difficulty. There is no way I have gotten through this game with any sort of progress without using some sort of cheat device, such as the Game Genie or uh, some sort of code to skip levels. So overall, while I would not recommend this game to everyone, I would say it's worth a look to see just what some of the games were like back then, because although this game is very hard and difficult, it definitely shows that there was no set model yet for how video games should be designed. That said, I hope you enjoyed this look at Battletoads. As always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned because I have more content coming. I will see you in the next one.
If you like this video and you'd like to help out with future projects on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Also, if you enjoy the content of this channel, please remember to click on this subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.